Born on December 18, 1814, Sarah Barrett and her family moved to Madison, Indiana when she was nine, so she could get an education. She submitted her first poem to the local paper, the Madison Banner, when she was just 13 years old. Throughout her adolescence, she published several poems in Madison and Cincinnati newspapers. Sarah's work attracted the attention of Nathaniel Bolton, an editor at the Indiana State Gazette. Sarah and Nathaniel married in 1831, and the couple moved to the new state capital, Indianapolis. Sarah continued to write and publish her poetry while she raised her two children. The family operated a tavern on their farm along the National Road near Indianapolis, a gathering place for local lawmakers. In 1845, they sold their farm to the state, and it became the site of the Indiana Hospital for the Insane, later known as Central State. In 1851, social reformer Robert Dale Owen and Sarah Barrett Bolton worked together to lobby state legislators to secure property ownership rights for women. In order to sway public opinion, Sarah wrote about the important issue for several newspapers. Sarah's writing earned her the nickname of Pioneer Poet Laureate of Indiana, and many of her poems were set to music. She also wrote about issues of the day, including the inequality between genders and social classes. Yet her most famous work is Paddle Your Own Canoe, a poem about the importance of making your own life decisions. Nathaniel died in 1854, and their daughter died soon after, leaving Sarah to help raise her grandson. The tragedy inspired her work, Two Graves. Sarah remarried, but when the relationship failed, she traveled throughout Europe and even lived in Dresden, Germany for two years. In 1871, Sarah bought a 55-acre farm on the southeast side of Indianapolis called Beach Bank, in present-day Beach Grove. And she was able to purchase the land entirely on her own. Nothing great is lightly won, nothing won is lost. Every good deed nobly done will repay the cost. Leave to heaven in humble trust all you will to do but if you succeed, you must paddle your own canoe. Sarah Bolton. Headstrong is made possible through the generous support of PNC Bank and a grant from American Experience. <laughs>